Francine here with my weekly scoop on making the healthy choice. Today, I'm in the supermarket at one of the most popular aisles, the bread aisle. Now, there is no reason to fear this car. It is a great way to get essential nutrients like B vitamins and iron and fiber, and also the carbohydrate can give you a lot of energy and the stamina that you need for the day. Now there is an array of choices from bagel flats to multi-grain rolls to pumpernickel to English muffins. It's really hard to know how to make a healthy choice, but I'm going to tell you how. Now first of all, don't judge the bread by its color. A lot of times people think that the darker the color of the bread, the healthier it is. There is no question that whole grain bread is a little bit darker than the white bread, but a lot of times the bread is darker because of the molasses, not because it's whole grain. The other thing is keep it simple. Breads like focaccia and cheese breads and breads that are brushed with garlic olive oil can give you extra fat and calories, so try to keep it simple. And look at the ingredient list. That will tell you what's in the bread. I'm going to tell you the things to look for on the label, but things to try to avoid are high fructose corn syrup, hydrogenated fats, artificial flavors, colors, and preservatives. So that's a lot to swallow, but a lot of breads will just note that right on the front because they're so proud that they're not using these ingredients, they label it right on the front of the package. Sugar should be at the low end of the ingredient list. That means that it's present in the lowest amounts. You need to have some sugar in breads because the yeast needs sugar to get activated. So there is going to be some sugar, but look for breads that have sugar at the bottom of the ingredient list. Now what to look for. The first ingredient should have the word whole in it. It should say something like 100% whole wheat or whole grain or stone ground whole grain or whole oats, but the word whole should be in the first word in the ingredient list. Don't be pulled into the deception because sometimes on a package it will say made with whole grains. That doesn't tell you anything about the goodness of the grains in there. It says made with, it could have this amount of whole grains in the package. Also, things like multi-grain isn't telling you that the whole grain is being used. All it's saying is that there's multiple grains in there. The way to tell that you're not being deceived is to look at the fiber content. It should have from two to four grams of fiber per slice, not per serving, because sometimes it's two pieces of bread per serving, and if it has two grams of fiber per serving, that means only one gram of fiber per slice. So it should have two to four grams of fiber per slice. Let's look at some examples. Here we have a bread that is made with whole grains. So, let's look. The first ingredient is enriched wheat flour, not whole wheat flour. Whole wheat flour comes at the bottom of the ingredient list. So if you look at the fiber, only a little more than one gram of fiber per slice. So that's not enough. It says in the front, no high fructose corn syrup, no artificial colors or flavors. That's really good. But again, not that high in whole grains, not as much as you want. Okay, here's another example. Multi-grain, let's look here. It doesn't say on the front, no high fructose corn syrup or no artificial additives or preservatives. So it's probably in there. Let's look at the ingredients. Yep, in here, high fructose corn syrup, additives, preservatives. And the first ingredient doesn't say whole. The first is enriched wheat flour. There's no whole grain anywhere in this ingredient list. So the amount of fiber per slice is only one gram. Another example is a bread that says just wheat. So this says split top wheat. That doesn't say whole wheat. And again, you look at the ingredients, the first ingredient is enriched wheat flour. There's no whole anywhere here. And it has high fructose corn syrup, artificial flavors and preservatives. And the fiber is less than one gram per slice. Okay, now the better choices. Here we have one that says 100% whole wheat. Great. And it says never any artificial preservatives, colors, or flavors, and no high fructose corn syrup. Two thumbs up. All right, let's look. The first ingredient says stone ground whole wheat flour. And if you look at the fiber content, it's two grams of fiber per slice. No artificial additives, no artificial preservatives, no high fructose corn syrup, no hydrogenated fats. This is a good choice. This is my favorite bread. If you happen to have Dave's Killer Bread in your area, I urge you to try. Not only is it delicious, it has seeds in there, which will give you wonderful flavor, but also extra nutrients and omega-3 fats, which is really healthy for your heart. 
I like the thin slice because that gives you only 70 calories per slice and it's big enough. The slices are big enough. So if you look at the back, the first ingredient is whole wheat flour and it's got whole flax seeds and whole sunflower seeds and whole sesame seeds. Again, giving it a source of omega-3s. The fiber is three grams per slice. No artificial additives, no preservatives, no high fructose corn syrup. I urge you to try it. Absolutely delicious, this bread. These are the facts. You make the choice. Oh, I think I may have just made it for you. Francine here, America's nutritionist of choice, helping you make the healthy choice. And don't forget to tune in next week where our scoop of the week will be, how do you choose a healthy yogurt?